Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today, Crips here, and uh, before I go on, I'm going to do a shout out to a lovely young lady called Marina, I hope I said that name correct, so what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to teach you how you can create your very own DVD or Blu-ray disc, so it's very simple, so sit down and watch and learn. <laughs> All right, so you've got your footage, whatever it is, and I'm going to use uh, a Bucks Bunny cartoon because I'm going to create a little disc for my daughter. I go on the net and I download all the uh, old uh, Hanna Barbera cartoons because they're still the best, right? And then I put them all on the disc, and then she can watch it later. That's really cool. So first thing we need to do is obviously put our footage into the timeline, and like any other DVD or Blu-ray that you buy, we have to create chapter points. So that's part, that's basically inserting sections into the movies where you want to skip to. So it's very, very simply done. Between your time and your video track, you'll see another very, very small track here. All you need to do is move your slider to the point where you want to create your first chapter. Left click and it creates, creates a green triangle indicating chapter 1 chapter 2, and then so forth and so forth, so until you have your entire video clip chaptered out. Now, uh, that's all well and true if you've got a clip like mine, which is 7 minutes long, so it won't take very long. Then let's say you covered a wedding, 2-3 hours. That is a lot of time to sit there and do chapter points, so there must be an easy way. Well, there is. So I'm just going to go over here and remove those chapter points. Uh, remove. Delete all, close. I'm going to go straight to share and create disc. I'm going to create a DVD. I don't have a Blu-ray player, so it doesn't matter. It works the same principle. Okay, so here's my uh, little clip of Bugs Bunny. And I'm just going to do auto chapters. So I'm going to go add, edit chapter. And it says here, add auto chapters, right? Now, it's only a seven-minute clip, so... I'm going to change the duration to about two minutes. Press OK. And as you can see, it automatically inserted the uh, chapter points for me. Now, here is the chapter points. If you can use your flywheel, you can really zone, uh, well, zone or pick exactly where you wish to have the chapter points. In case this one you do not like, then just click Remove Chapter and then Add Chapter to where you want. But I'm quite happy with this, so I'm going to press OK. Down here you've got uh, your multiple clips. Now I've got two little cartoons. Now if you wish you can put Bugs Bunny first. Just left click, drag and it'll swap. And once you're all happy with that, you can go to next. And now we can create our menu or our preview window. So everything in here uh, you can change. So let's say uh, Untitled, which really is Bugs Bunny. So double click and I'll call it Bugs. Don't ask me why. That's just what I'm doing. Okay, and you can move uh, the mouse button anywhere you want. Now you can also add in decorations. So let's add, I don't know, a little bow. There you go. That's for my daughter, so I'm trying to make it cute. I can do preview. Make sure everything looks good. And it'll go through sequence, and here it is. I might just have a look at uh, bugs. And then go into all the chapters as well. Making sure everything is working nice. So chapter 1, 2 and 3. Yeah, so it all works quite nice. So I'm happy with that. I'll just go back and go next. Alright, so here it is. So here's my label. I can change that label to whatever I want. So I'm going to call it, uh, I don't know, cartoon. This is the destination drive, so wherever you have your blank CD, it'll be there. And how many copies you wish to make. Right now, I don't have any CDs in my drive, but that's okay, because I'm not really intending to make one yet. This is just a simple little tutorial. Uh, so it'll come up as an empty, and therefore it'll also be read out here. But once you insert your disk, uh, it will all uh, be fine. So it tells you about the amount of space it's requiring. Uh, it's three gigabytes, and yes, that's a large file. I haven't compressed it yet, but it doesn't matter. I can do that later. 
and I have plenty of room so I have no problems there. Now once I'm happy with all that I can still preview. Make sure everything looks fine for the one one last time. Yeah, so so here is a, a name that I do not wish obviously. I can change that and go back, back, and there is that name. So same thing, double click, cartoon, fine, next. Alright, so we're back to the last window. This is my output window. If everything is fine, I can then click burn. And once I have clicked burn, I will create my very own DVD or Blu-ray disc. And as always, thanks for watching.